Chief Minister Nong Thombambi Ren returns from Delhi today. Election code of conduct for upcoming by-election to be effective from September 24th. Tutelar King of Manipur Kam Raja Sabha MP Laisemba Sana Jauba moves Parliament House to recognize Manipuris as classical Indian language. Police arrest the three accused of ATM money heist and murder of Arambam Ranjan. Curious local storm accused persons residents. Protest erupts in Langdu. United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur says private schools will collect 50% fees from students from April till school reopening. And India's confirmed COVID-19 cases crossed 55.62 lakh with over 75,000 new cases. Manipur reports 270 new cases in the last 24 hours. Kurumjari, good evening. You are watching Tuesday Primetime English Bulletin on Impact News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with you. In the next 30 minutes, I'll be taking you through the day's latest updates from across the state and the world. First up, Chief Minister Nong Thomambirain returned from his Delhi tour today. Speaking to media after taking necessary COVID-19 test, Chief Minister Nbiren said there is no proposal for reshuffling of state cabinet ministers yet. Meanwhile, a reliable source said that election code of conduct for the upcoming by-election will be effective from September 24th as the by-election is expected to be conducted this November. The Chief Minister arrived along with BJP National Vice President Vajayan Panda, Advisor to Chief Minister Rajat Sethi, Sagulban MLA R.K. Imo and ex-MLA Mohammad Abdul Nasir at Bir Tikendraji International Airport at 5.15 p.m. Nbiren said the decision about reshuffling of state cabinet ministers will be decided along with the visiting national leader and any decision will be known in a couple of days but so far nothing has been decided. Titular King of Manipur Kam Raja Sabha MP Lise Mbasana Jauba has moved the Parliament House of the ongoing monsoon session to recognize Manipuris as one of the classical languages of India. MP Lise Mbasana Jauba said, as per the Indian government, four criteria are required to recognize a modern Indian language as a classical language. He asserted that so far, only six languages of the country fulfill the criteria, hence they are recognized as Indian classical language. He moved the parliament house by stating that the Manipuri language totally fulfills the criteria. Laisemba Sanajabu also mentioned that Indian government is making no efforts to recognize Sino-Tibetan language, mainly the Tibeto-Burman language as classical language, but they are among the major languages of India. Police has arrested three miscreants involved in looting 1 crore and 15 lakh rupees and murder of Arambam Ranjan Mete on September 4th near SBI Main Branch, Churachanpur. The arrested persons are 40-year-old V. Thangkongwan, son of late V. Thangkongkam from Munhoi village in Churachanpur district, 36-year-old K. Somin, son of K. Achoba from Kuga Tampak in Churachanpur district, and 40-year-old Kongham Brojin, son of late K. Sahin from Bhamon Kampu, Imphal East District. All three of them are employees of Writers Safeguard Group. An amount of 20 lakh rupees, 1.32 revolver gun and some live bullets have also been recovered from them. 
Police interrogation reveals that mastermind of the incident is Kongham Brojin and he gave his .32 license revolver and six bullets to K. Soman and Thangkham Wan to carry out the crime. He further appealed that it, they have been swindled around the two crore rupees meant for depositing in ATMs over the span of last five years. After a long protest to deliver justice for late Arambam Ranjan, who was shot near SBI main branch Churachanpur on September 4th, police has arrested the suspects. Furious locals stormed the residence of accused K. Soman, son of K. Achoba at Koga Tampak, Zovin Churachanpur this morning. Police, CSO and JC leaders have tried to pacify the angry mob who tried to attack and demolish the accused person's house and even tried to set the house on fire. Police, along with JC leaders, have shifted the family to a safer place. Curfew has been imposed in the area. JC and other civil society's members met this afternoon. They have resolved to submit him a memorandum to Chief Minister in Biren, including demands to give ex gratia service and other benefits to the Biri family of late Arambam Ranjan. The JC also requested SDBO Turachanpur to give few more days to claim his body being kept at Rims Morgue until they made the chief minister. Residents of Langdom carried out a protest rally today chanting various slogans condemning the authorities' concern for failing to punish culprits involved in the killing of driver come security of Writer Safeguard Company SNC Arambam Ranjan alias Kuku even after identifying them. Protesters started their rally from Langdom village but police intercepted them at Langdom Lamkai. Scuffles occurred as protesters forcefully tried to continue their rally. Later, Imphal East additional SP and SDO Kerao Bitra arrived and intervened. Following an agreement, police allowed the protesters to continue the rally till Iringbung Thongkong. United Development Organization UDO has urged the authorities concerned to carry out speedy and timely resolution of cases to reduce the rates of crimes in the state. United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur insured Arsam has alleged to government of sightlining the inconveniences being faced by recognized private schools of the state amid COVID-19 pandemic. 
Speaking to media at St. Joseph School in Sangai Polo today, Association Secretary Seikho Jam Kibgen said a meeting of Assam and Hill District Private Schools Association was held today and came up with rules to be followed by private schools. He also said the meeting resolved that private schools will collect 50% tuition fees from students from April till schools reopen. He added that the amount collected will provide half salary to teachers and utilize the rest for school management. Seiko Jam Kibgen warned of reopening schools by adopting policies followed in neighboring states if the state government failed to look take necessary actions. He also appealed to extend the registration date of Kosum and Bosum till last week of October. After considering the uh, the inattention of the government of Manipur, the lackadaisical attitude of the government of Manipur, you see we have been suffering for quite a long time now. It's been more than uh, five months. We are entering six months. So in spite of the sufferings of these private schools and uh, teachers, the private school management and the parents, the government seems to be uh, blind about our suffering. So <clears throat> in order to tackle this problem, we want to save the education of uh, our students and we want to save our private institutions. That's why we have come up with a resolution that we will order all our constituent schools to collect 50% tuition fee from April until schools are reopened. Central Bureau of Investigation, Anti-Corruption Bureau, Imphal today submitted charge sheet against 61-year-old R.K. Dharendrajit of Brahmapur Lalji Lakpalaikai, former assistant commissioner of customs division Imphal, for allegedly owning sets disproportionate to known sources of income. The charge sheet was submitted before the Special Court Prevention of Corruption Act, Imphal East, by a team of CBI this afternoon. After the hearing, court order to release the alleged accused on bail, who was arrested today at noon by a CBI team. He was released on bail with a surety of 1 lakh rupees in cash and on condition that he shall not influence prosecution witnesses and not leave the state without the court's permission. BJP Manipur Pradesh has termed the passes of the three agriculture sector reform bills by Raja Sabha in the ongoing monsoon session of the parliament as a historic move. In a video released by BJP Manipur Pradesh today, party chief spokesperson Chongtham Bijoy said two farm bills, namely the Farmers and Produce Trade and Commerce Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2020 and the Farmers Empowerment Empowerment and Protection Agreement on Price Assurance and Farm Services Bill 2020 passed in the Lok Sabha on September 17 were passed by a voice vote in the Rises Sabha on September 20. While the Essential Commodities Amendment Bill 2020 passed in the Lok Sabha on September 15 was passed in the Rises Sabha today. Chongtham Bizoy said these bills will be converted into acts for the welfare of farmers. He asserted that farmers will no longer deal with middlemen in fixing the rate or sale of their products. The party spokesperson added that farmers can now sell their products in their neighboring states or export wherever they want to, which was earlier prohibited. Chong Tham Bijoy appealed to the public to welcome the bills, keeping aside any political differences. Mana Pamba, Oman Kuma, which is rather direct a hoggy retailer. Not rather a hoggy agriculture company marketing to Java Porting Moon. A process of the direct on Javia University. She upon a side of the company with Jaram deal. Masia and Majana, farmers in the income chair, Masia Hui double winning a primary string of line hands. Matang side of opposition is Handuishina. We are not confused to Honisna. Minimum support price of two crummy. Hydrogen. 
On the other hand, left parties in Manipur, CPI, CPIM, AIFB and RSP met today at Iravad Bhavan and BT Road and condemned the passes of the farm bills by the BJP government. Press release from the left parties appealed to extend solidarity to the nationwide protest called by All India Kishan Sanghar's Coordination Committee on September 25th against the three agriculture sector reform bills. Chairman of Tainam Village Authority, Yangqing Raling, has appealed to the government to repair Mai Kui Kong Road under PMGSY and make it durable without further delay. The lone road which connects Lungchong, Maifei LM Subdivisional Headquarter and Ukrul District Headquarter lays in a deplorable condition. Members of Palil and Raling Village Authority inspected the condition of Mai Kui Kong Road today. Speaking on the sidelines, Yangqing Raling said that the road is an important lifeline for the Tankuls residing on the western side of Okrul district. He claimed that villages have been repairing the road by themselves in October and November every year ahead of Christmas since 1980 with donations from local MLA, district administration and top officials. But unfortunately, the repair road normally lasts only up to April the next year before the onset of monsoon. He added that it normally takes 45 minutes via Makui Kong Road to reach Ukrul District Headquarter. But when it cannot be travelled on, it takes more than two and a half hours from other routes. The chairman appealed to the present government to include repair of the road under PMGSY to make it durable. State government the BMGSY the work program has been a problem. Soft of being a long lasting to being a lumpy. She has a shambir standard maintain to be a lumpy. She black top to happy of the equi LM subdivision headquarters. The group that was 45 minutes to get in hello. The bar. How do you quite lumpy light of Nina? Ah, from the equi rega. Pung ani minute. 45 hen nat pasu lai pungani makhai chang basu lai gari gari matung aina aduna hoje hoje pale ba sarkar sida ekhoi na hanna hanna request to jari si atu ba matam da to birab di so ai sida lai ba ukur district ki western part da lai ba khwai da ki population lai ba khwai da ki yam population ukur district da lai ba mi oi sing sina si ki khunja sing na yam na nungai jani hai na mayam ki mamang da smai na phong to jani Residents under Areng Nomai Konga Gram Panchayat have appealed to construct a bridge on Manipur River near Nongkai Kong Gram Panchayat Ward No. 9 by 7 in Hyanglam constituency as earlier promised by the government. The bridge will connect Nomai Kong and Ka Tinungai of Thanga constituency. Sources said the bridge is supposed to be constructed under Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana that is PM GSY. Artificial flood occurred due to poor drainage today at Cherap Court complex in the heart of Imphal City, which is aspiring to become a smart city. Impact news came across a condition which occurred after around 10 minutes of rain this afternoon, bringing much inconveniences to people entering the complex. Speaking to media, people in the court complex appeal to the government to take necessary actions at the earliest. People of Juribam are facing difficulties due to the lack of X-ray and ultrasound technicians at the 50 baited Juribam Hospital in Ningxingkul. Locals condemn those technicians who have failed to join a duty if after the relevant department has issued them posting orders. They asked if the technicians are above the department officials who had issued the order. Doctor ordered to doctor doctor Police levied fines upon those who failed to obey COVID-19 related SOPs like coming out on streets without wearing face marks at various places of Imphal West District today. 
Speaking on the sidelines, Imphal West District Police appealed to follow COVID-19 related protocols and unitedly fight against coronavirus pandemic. Members of Mayang Imphal Khuman Youth Association under the supervision of former minister Dr. K.H. Ratan Kumar have carried out COVID-19 rapid test drive at Mayang Imphal Kokchang Mayai Lekai, which has been declared as COVID-19 containment zone. Altogether, 10 persons, including 7 women, were found positive for COVID-19. Officials of the health department have picked them up for necessary treatment. People's Tax Force for COVID-19, Indian Red Cross Society, Manipur State Branch and AHPI Manipur organized COVID Awareness Program at Konthausam Laikai Club today. Speaking at the program, AHPI Manipur Chapter Secretary Dr. James Elangbam appealed to take necessary safety measures to prevent further spread of coronavirus. Yung the home isolation to be hereditary, yung ki lay we put kayo lay kayo support si su, at the kiyo club ki may napay kayo support si yung kan ba matu matay. Oo, may katan na yaro ay pagkui ay yung the ka tungan tungan lay ni panyang lay at the kiyo patrong toilet mga tuplay hayo niya po tiyo. At unat sigi po si yung na important na iba. Muna na hatin na kalaga ng mga tuplay kayo di home isolation to be the ni kayo nito. Makam kudingi India ini, makam kudingi untuk kita layi itu doktor yang lebih power kami COVID tinggi situation tu. Ada tapi nak tu dia doktor mana hai? Home isolation tu mesti mui kani memang tinggi ya kerja. Ada mana hari si kui tamil nak tu dia home isolation tu orang matung tinggi si tinggi cangsi. Ada tinggi mati hengkel ni. Kakching Municipality Council has notified marketplaces and shops under its jurisdiction to stay closed until September 26. The notice came after certain COVID-19 positive cases among those who have no travel history and declaration of COVID containment zones in various parts of Kakching District. As per a press release issued by Chairperson of Kakching Municipal Council N. Santi Kumar, marketplaces and shops in Kakching remained closed today. While oil pumps and shops selling essential items open by strictly adhering to COVID-19 related SOPs. To dwell in the lives of people from various professions amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic, Impact News Today met with Manipur film actor Guru Mayum Boni Sharma. Let's have a quick report. Manipuri film actor Guru Mayum Boni Sharma is a jolly, humorous and a good conversationalist among the actors of the state. Impact News met him at his residence in Kashamthong, Maning Longjam Lairak today. He was clad in simple clothes, a half pant and a t-shirt without any airs of a celebrity and was jolly as ever, not letting the coronavirus pandemic dampen his spirit. Tuan tuan berprofesion dalam lagi bahagai komuniti agak terkangkut sing sida. Kau itu gigi na sok pasi agai artis sing so artis sing so aman ni na ini thamning. Kau itu profesion je mi pun bay mi pun lagi nungai bah thabang eh kau itu film boy ro sumang ni lah boy ro isai boy entertain doh raga madu tu nungai bah si mi pun bay jarak tu social distancing ni je lakukan tadi. Kau mi pun bay ya ya di bawah dia kau kemain tu hingga tadi abdu ni kau itu asal wahang ama artis sing dalam lagi sah. The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has affected people of every profession. Film artists are no exception. Boni Sharma told Impact News that he spent the first 15 days of the nationwide COVID-19 related lockdown which began in March indoors. Eventually, he became restless with the stoppage of any outdoor activities including film shooting. 
Finally, he made up his mind to help in running the family grocery shop at their house gate. Actor Bonnie said he spends almost half his day running the shop along with his wife and other family members. Commenting about the proposed Manipur State Cine Policy, Bonnie told Impact News that Film Forum Manipur and other film-related associations have been urging the relevant authorities to formulate and implement a film policy for years. He said it is high time to come up with a draft of the policy for long-term welfare of film artists in the state. A film policy same as ฮันดักกีกัมเมนจิกีซีนาเนติเซกีมะมังกีกัมเมนดักกีฮาวระกาไฮตาเรอลวยเรลวยเรนะไฮระลวยเนนี่ยาเรไฮบะเซตุมะ
2020 JEE Men's Star Stat Toppers Ahunga Luina na 100% success rate putok pangam kre online class ki damak registration hogjare. New batch starting from 21st September 2020. Registrations are open. Banthobi Group presents Banthobi Housing Finance Company Limited, regulated by RBI, has completed its 15 years of service, having 13 branches including Guwahati. Provide subsidized home loan under PMAY CLSS Housing for All by 2022 mission. Banthobi Microfame deals in microfinance. Banthobi Nidhi Limited provides home loans against fixed deposit and properties. Banthobi Construction booking is going on for flats, villas, row house. For more details, kindly contact Banthobi Housing Finance Company Limited and its subsidiary group of companies. Welcome back. You're watching Tuesday Primetime English Bulletin on Impact News. India's COVID-19 case load crossed 55.62 lakhs with a record 75,083 infections reported in the last 24 hours. While death toll has climbed to 88,935 and above 44,97,000 people have been discharged. Recovery rate of coronavirus patients in the country stands at 80.86%. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, active COVID-19 cases in the country stands at 97,5861. Maharashtra has the highest number of active cases of above 2,75,000. Meanwhile, the Indian Council of Medical Research said that more than 9 lakh tests have been conducted in the last 24 hours. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 3 crore 15 lakh people, above 9 lakh 70,000 people have died and recoveries are above 2 crore 31 lakh. USA is on the top with more than 25 lakh 41,000 active cases, followed by India and Brazil. Now, updates on coronavirus cases in Manipur. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 9,280, of which 2,333 are active cases and recoveries are 6,887. Death toll has reached 60. As per State Health Department and COVID-19 Command Control Room press release at 5 p.m. today, in the past 24 hours, coronavirus affected 82-year-old man from Imphal West District passed away at Jenims. The disease had comorbid health conditions. While 270 people have tested positive for COVID-19, out of which 214 persons are from general population and 56 are personnel of Central Armed Police Force. In the past 24 hours, 49 people were discharged after recovery. Manipur's recovery stands at 74.21%. Newly infected persons from the general population, 54 from Imphal West, 100 from Imphal East, 29 from Thaubal, 3 from Technopal, 6 from Bishnupur, 7 from Kokching, 3 from Chandal, 5 from Churachanpur, 4 from Tamenglong, 1 each from Kangpokpi, Kamjong and Sanapati districts. Out of the general population, 9 persons, 4 from Imphal East district and 5 from Bishnupur district are returnees from other states while the remaining 205 are locals without any travel history. They are being shifted to COVID care facilities and necessary measures are underway. Now in Northeast region, among the Northeast states, novel coronavirus has affected Assam the most. The state's total confirmed COVID-19 cases are nearing 1,60,000 out of which 31,000 404 are active cases. Arunachal Pradesh confirmed COVID-19 cases have crossed 7,500 and active cases are 1,939. While Naglin's confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 5,544, out of which 1,052 are active cases. Tripura's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 22,831, out of which 6,700 are active cases. There are 680 active cases of COVID-19 in Mizoram, 513 in Sikkim and 2,167 in Meghalaya.
Health Minister Langpoglakpam Jayant Kumar has stressed on the crucial roles of mother. He was speaking at the Portion Mai event held at the 10th Baden Ayus Hospital in Kwakaitel Kongjing Lekai today. Speaking on the occasion, Minister L. Jayant Kumar said, nutritious diet is required for women to give birth to healthy babies. He added, Portion Mai is celebrated to keep mothers and their child healthy to build a strong nation. Department of Oncology Radiation of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Imphal observed World Rose Day at the department's conference hall today. Education Minister Dr. Thokchom Radesham graced the event. The minister, along with RIMS Director Professor A. Santa, RIMS Medical Superintendent Professor C. H. Arun Kumar and Head of Oncology Radiation Department Dr. T. Daneshwar distributed sweets and roses to cancer patients of the hospital. World Rose Day is a day to spread hope and cheers in the lives of cancer patients. It is observed on September 22 every year for the welfare of cancer patients. The day is also dedicated to spreading awareness about cancer. One day awareness program on vector bone diseases was held at Chingmai Laishoi Community Hall under PHSC Kaibul Lamjao today. District Health Society and National Vector Bone Disease Control Program organized the event along with ASHA workers of Kaibul under the supervision of District Malaria Officer. Supervisors M. Dinesh Chandra and A.L. Komal were the resource persons of the program. Divisional Forest Office Chandal organized a one-day workshop on forest and wildlife conservation for village authorities at Chandal Forest Division Complex today. The workshop was held under the aegis of Nature Learning Center, National Mission on Himalayan Studies, Ministry of Environment and Climate Change, Government of India. Retired CCF Mahendra Pratap spoke on four village authorities on forest and wildlife conservation, DA4 Chandal and Ganesh traced on forest and activities of department and ACF Chandal SL Niang Thanghoi MFS spoke on zooming cultivations at the event. Mahendra Pratap distributed mobile tablets to beat officers of Chandal division on the occasion. SDO Chandal sent Rithung Anal, the list leaders of Chandal district, staff of various departments and representatives of CSOs attended the event. Committee Manipur has decided to confer the Nongthombam Iboton Teacher Award to Dr. R.K. Lenin and Laishram Ramshing Ningshing Award to Dr. Tharoijam Uthan on the occasion of year-long birth anniversary celebration of Lamyanba Hijami Rawat. Press release from the committee also said Hijam Acho Ningshing Senmi Award will be conferred upon senior worker Lai Thang Tem Awards will be conferred on September 30th on the birthday of Hijam Irawat at Ibo Yaima Shumang Lila Shanglin. All India Youth Federation Manipur State Council is holding a blood donation came in connection with the year-long birth anniversary celebration of Jananeta Hijam Irawat. The came will be held on September 28th starting 8 a.m. at Jenin's Blood Bank. Press release from the council urged interested donors to contact mobile number 700-585-8148 or 801-445-9630. Staff of Kokching Range and members of Lions Club of Kokching Greta jointly planted tree saplings at Sora Hill today on autumnal equinox, which occurs only twice a year when day and night are of equal length throughout the world. Range officer, forest officer of Kokching, come president of Lions Club of Kokching Greta and Munal Mite appeal to everyone to plant at least one tree saplings on this important day every year.
Now the sports news. World number one Novak Zovakovic won a record 36 master title by beating Diago Schwarzman in the 77th Italian Open Tennis Championship at Rome last night. The championship began on September 14 at Foro Italico's outdoor clay court. In men's singles final match, Novak Zovakovic defeated Argentina's Diago Schwarzman by 7-5, 6-3. Earlier, top-seeded Simona Halep of Romania won her first Italian Open title when defending champion Zek Carolina Zikova retired midway through the final with an injury. Halep was leading 6-0-2-1 when Bliskova stopped playing after just 31 minutes. Arrangements are all set to kickstart 124th French Open Tennis Championship from September 27th to October 11th. The championship, which is considered as the second Grand Slam, is usually held from May 24th to June 7th. However, it has been rescheduled owing to the coronavirus pandemic. Championship match were played at Sand Court from 1891 to 1907 and at Clay Court since 1908. In men's singles, Spence Rafael Nadal has won the championship title 12 times. He is also last year's champion. While in women's singles, USA's Chris Everlord has won the championship title 7 times. Australia's x Barty won the championship title last year. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Chief Minister Nongthom Ambiren returns from Delhi today. Election Code of Conduct for upcoming by-election to be effective from September 24. Titular King of Manipur come Raja Sabha MP Leisemba Sanajawa moves Parliament House to recognize Manipuris as classical in the language. Police arrest the three accused of ATM money heist and murder of Arambam Ranjan. Furious local storm accused persons residents. Protests erupt in London. United Association of Recognized Schools of Manipur says private schools will collect 50% fees from students from April till school reopening. India's confirmed COVID-19 cases crossed 55.62 lakh with over 75,000 new cases. Manipur reports 270 new cases in the last 24 hours. That's all we have for today. Thank you for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur News from Reena Thingujam. For more news updates, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube.